everyone. I'm Tasha Jackson, your host of Naturally Inspired. Thank you for joining us again. We have Greg Silvers here, Vice President of Gland Health. And today we're going to be talking about um, the continuation of the discussion that we had before. Before we were talking about more residential things, but now we're going to be talking about um, the industry. So we're excited to continue that discussion, again, of um, eco-friendly sanitation and alcohol-free um, sanitation, just to continue that point of it being something that is in the news that's not catching a lot of attention, um, but needs to have attention brought to it because there are people that are being harmed by alcohol contain contamination um, in their sanitizing products. And so some of the news headlines that we've had, and they are available on sanitizingsafety.com. Um, so some of the news headlines are scents, flavors, um, have them having uh, alcohol containing um, hand sanitizers have are contained in like food packaging so that they're very attractive. Um, CVS had mentioned that there's more alcohol contamination that's causing injury because there are certain types of alcohol that are leaching into or getting into or people are purposefully putting different types of alcohol into the sanitizers. Um, NBC has another article where the FDA cannot recall but only warn people of these products. And so again, we're having these PSAs to do our due diligence to also bring awareness that this is an issue. So again, you can go on to sanitizingsafety.com and you can see all of these news headlines plus other research that's out there. So unlike toxic methods such as bleach, chlorine, and alcohol that are harming people around the world, clots, as we spoke with Greg uh, last time, are compounds that are proven by new medical research to address the human coronavirus and not harm people in the process. So a growing public safety health trend that we have spoken about since November during Child Safety Month is that people are either intentionally or unintentionally ingesting the alcohol-based um, hand, uh, hand alcohol-based hand sanitizers. If I can get it out, geez. <laughs> and. Um, it's prevalent everywhere, right? So there's wall-mounted dispensers. Um, some drink it directly from the bottle. Um, so again, it's really important that people take this information seriously. Share these videos with your loved ones, colleagues, talk about it in your community. You know, let's raise awareness so that people understand what's going on out there. The only way that people know about it is if we spread the news and bring awareness. So again, I have Greg Silvers joining us, Vice President of Product Development at Glan Health, um, a world leader in alcohol-free, quat-based, safe sanitizing for skin, body, and industrial spaces. And we will be talking about the industrial spaces today. So good morning, Greg. Thank you so much for joining us. It's nice to have you here again. Hey, thanks so much for having us. We really appreciate it. It's good to see you again. <laughs> so we're going to talk today about the industry side and for those that missed the first broadcast, um, can you tell us a little about a little bit about yourself and how you got into the sanitizing industry? So, long story short, I got into the sanitizing industry because of hospital-borne infections. Because unfortunately, it, it uh, my father ended up in the hospital, and one of those nasty viruses uh, took his life. And the last visual I saw my my dad was 20 different antibiotics being pumped into him because they couldn't kill it. So I made it kind of my mission to find uh, not not the cure, but the uh, remedy uh, to um, stop these horrible things from from happening. Um, and we can do it. We, we've got the technology. We just have to be more vigilant in, in how we uh, how we clean and not use those poisons um, because they really don't work uh, in a long period of time. It's just a one-shot wonder. Um, and that's why we came up with the Glyne Health products because they're not just a one-hit wonder. They, they last, they last for 28 days. So with that being said, here I am. So it's been a personal mission for you 
as we spoke before, I mean, I, th I think that's something important to point out is that people have an experience and then that experience prompts them to do something, right? Absolutely. And the something you want it to be meaningful, you want it to have an impact. And this especially is so very timely because there are just so many people out there that are unaware of how many times they're they're putting alcohol into their body, you know, with you know one pump or two pumps or you know, I used to be that mom that I was like, spray your whole body, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and in that, in that sense, whenever you're not using in moderation, or whenever you're using the smallest amount that that you need to use, um, it can turn into something that is potentially dangerous that people are not aware of. And so I'm sorry that 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 you've had that experience. But um, I'm very joyous that this is the result that you can give a product, um, especially I, you know, I use your products, um, especially that, that, that there's a product out there that, you know, especially my kids, they, they love um, that it doesn't burn their hands, that it doesn't dry their hands out. And so you've been able to bring this product to people that then can know that there's that safety component on multiple levels. Correct. It's, it's very, um, it's very challenging to educate everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is kind of our, our mission statement, we, we, we want to educate um, and educate because the children, the, the, the pregnant women, the, um, the elderly, the people that are going through uh, chemotherapy, uh, uh, dialysis, we want to, we want to make sure those people understand that by using an alcohol product, it could be very detrimental to their health um, because the alcohol does go transdermal and it does affect their immune system. So with that being said, um, Gland Health is just trying to get out um, information to educate whoever will listen. So your help, um, we, we, we get, at least we get to, to get in front of your audience and, and educate them because they really care about everything being natural. And that's what uh, Glen Health's all about. We're, we're a natural product uh, that's not going to hurt the environment or, or, or the human. And within industries, we see increasingly, um, at least I have, there's a difference. So I've spoken before about you know, going to the grocery store and they now have these sprayers and they spray all of the carts. And many times whenever they spray them, it doesn't have enough time to dry before you then grab the cart oh, yeah. and, and, and get that on your skin. And so um, the EPA's list of recommended products shows that quat-based sanitizers are the majority of recommended products that are powerful to restore business and industries and to also keep the public safe. Because if anyone is like me, I maybe, I have five different stores that I shop at. So if each of those stores is doing that, can you imagine just, just only touching that part, right? Um, just the handle of the carts, um, not to mention, you know, it's recommended that um, any time that you have contact with surface, other surfaces, then you would also use sanitizer. Some people are, are really overzealous about how often they're sanitizing. And so um, in, in addition to the grocery store, we also have um, airplanes we'll talk about today, um, rental cars like Uber and Lyft, those kinds of things. And so whenever we're talking about the community at large, what industries are, I guess, what, which industries does Gland Health aid in that restoration or what, which ones do you guys target to help? So we're kind of a multitude of industries. Um, in anywhere where you have high traffic, uh, clientele, customers, hotels, restaurants, uh, nursing homes, um, hospitals, 
um, anything that has to do with high traffic, uh, consumer traffic, uh, business traffic. Um, so it, look, it, any industry, and this is the beauty about uh, these types of products, is there's no industry that they don't work in because everybody's got to sanitize. Everybody's got to uh, clean their floors or, or use hand sanitizer or wash their hands or all that good stuff. So we don't have a limitation. There is no limitation. Uh, the products work everywhere. They're, they're, um, uh, they're safe to use. So when you say what industries, I say, what industry can I not be in? Is, is kind of the, the magic number. But, you know, we focus on um, high trafficked areas. Um, typically, supermarkets are a big, the big box stores where they've got the backpacks on and they're spraying, mm -hmm. knows what they're spraying, typically bleach or, and, and, you know, like I said last time, your hands are sponges. So if that's wet, and that's got some sort of bad stuff in it. Where do you think it's going? It's going right in the bloodstream. And this is the problem. This is why people get so toxic uh, and get sick and they become acidic inside because of what they're ingesting and what they're grabbing. It, it's very, very effective on the human body uh, in, in way of harming it. So that's so why. With the... We spoke before about the electrostatic sprayers. Yes. So as you were saying, you know, there's, there is no industry that you're not in or you're not able to be in. And so let's um, briefly go back to the conversation of the electrostatic sprayers okay. and how they work, because I think that that will also um, give justice to the fact that because of this technology, because of this very specific way with which, um, the product is applied, that's the reason why it works everywhere and why it's safe to be used everywhere. Correct. And, and I'll kind of just go some technology on electrostatic. So to make it real simple, it's got what we call a wraparound technology. So what it does is as, as the liquid comes out, the, the head of the, the uh, device, whatever kind of device you're using, a backpack sprayer or a handheld It'll, it, it gives it a positive charge. So that positive charge wants to stick to surfaces. And the cool thing about, it's not gonna overlap. It's gonna spread out kind of like you have two magnets on, on one side of the magnet, it's gonna stick together. You flip one over and it kind of uh, won't let, it won't stick, it'll push it away. Same thing with electrostatic, it spreads and it, and it wraps. So. It, it is the best way to disinfect when you have the right product. Um, and this is where people don't understand because uh, we go into restaurants and you see somebody spraying with the same dirty rag. Um, all they're doing is cross-contaminating because that product has to stay wet for up to 15 minutes to kill. So what they're doing is they're spraying and they're doing this, and then they're going to the next table, and they're doing the same thing. I'm sorry, you can't see. <laughs> um, they're they're literally just cross contaminating. So with the electrostatic, um, they're not cleaning on underneath the table. They're not cleaning the legs of the table, or the legs of the chair, or the back of the chair. With the electrostatic, it goes everywhere. So um, it was originally used uh, in agriculture because the bugs would stay on the back side of the leaf. And when they come and spray their, their um, uh, pesticides with a regular sprayer, well, the, wouldn't get the bugs because yeah. the bugs are on the back. So they came up with this technology that it wraps around it. So basically we say the bugs can't hide um, because we consider these viruses bugs. They're super bugs as far as I'm concerned. And there's no place to hide with electrostatic. Yeah, because it clings. it clings to everything. Yep. Um, and then, so for our Airbnb people, um, so let's say you have someone who wants to hire your services or 
bring you guys into their home sure. um, because they have an Airbnb situation. So how long would it take to sanitize an entire house? So let, let's just give her an average of 2,500 square foot house, two stories, four bedrooms uh, would take about 15 minutes. And so it dry, yeah, and it dries in four minutes. It, so and then, going, yeah, go ahead. And then the effect of that lasts up to 28 days. And what, what we, when we say 28 days, so high traffic areas such as handrails or light switches or doorknobs, you're going to have to reapply. And that's why we, we have wipes and we have uh, the same product in a 32 ounce bottle because it's not a permanent surface. It can be rubbed off, but it's always great to be secure and and minimize your exposure to what's going on. Uh, so that's where all the products kind of come into play because if you're using our hand sanitizer, which is an invisible glove on your on your person and, and the body spray, then you've just knocked out one avenue. And now that you're doing your home or your office or your, or your business, um, you've actually coated the surfaces with a similar product that uh, is going to minimize your exposure. Um, it's, it's just, it, it's kind of like when you spray the poisons, uh, the, the bleaches and the, and the chlorines and the, and the formaldehydes. Can you believe they use formaldehyde in, in, in spraying? I do kind of, I, I can. If you told me that they did, I would believe it. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. So. But think about it, you know, when they put the, the UVC lights in the hospital rooms and they shut the door, turn the light on, shut the door, walk out. When it, 20 minutes later, um, they come in and they pull the thing out. But the minute they open that door, these things are microscopic. They float on okay. dust. Right. They, they, they come right back in and you've done nothing. You, yeah. You've killed what was in there at the time, but now there's more. So we came up with, the process because we wanted to keep killing it. Um, same thing with uh, dealing with with my dad. You know, they cleaned the room every day. They sprayed and wiped, and but they didn't kill anything. Yeah. Because they didn't let it sit long enough. So, with this product, it kills and it keeps killing for, for up to twenty eight days. And areas where people aren't cleaning. You know, they're not cleaning underneath the table. They're not cleaning underneath the sink. So this does it, this does it all. This protects, it's the most, most effective way to, um, to protect yourself, your customers, your employees um, from what's, what's alien. You know, nothing's 100%, nothing's but this is your best, uh, your best uh, defense. And we also have to think about how are we using surfaces? So for example, in a restaurant, like you just said that it, you know, with an electrostatic sprayer, it sticks to the bottom of the table, right? So you would think that, oh, why would you need to have the bottom of the table sanitized? Well, whenever you are getting into a booth, a lot of times or a lot of people grab onto the table to kind of, you know, inch themselves over uh -huh. or, you grab onto the bottom of the table whenever you're pulling yourself closer to the table, whenever you're sitting down. So Correct. some of these things, they might seem very foreign or very strange, but again, if you really sit and, and think mindfully about how you are utilizing these items in that space, then of course you want the bottom of the table to be sanitized because you touch the bottom of the table even though it's just maybe the edge of the bottom of the table, you still are touching the bottom yep. of the table. And then if you're kind of like uh, me, sometimes whenever I'm sitting at a, you know, not at a restaurant, but whenever I'm sitting at, a, at other tables, I'll sit on with my arms underneath and on top of my lap under the table and kind of lean forward, right? Depending on what the setting is. And so sometimes you might brush up under, on underneath of the table. Gets so, on your clothes, can get on yes. your clothes. You rub your your thighs. Uh, it, it's 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 everywhere, and and same thing with your salt shaker, or you go into um, a, 
a place and and grab the syrup or or the ketchup or whatever <laughs> bottle you've got there, um, you'd be amazed at how much bacteria is on these germs or on these these bottles because they're not clean. They're, yeah, they're I'm not, kind of a germaphobe, so yeah, I I, I know. <laughs> yeah, and and I don't mean to freak anybody out, but it's reality. You yes. know, the world is just full of germs, and um, it, it's it's just important to to be vigilant in your surroundings when you're dealing with. Because look, my mom always told me, "Get your elbows off the table." Mm -hmm. Well, somebody with a short sleeve shirt sitting on the table, then he, uh, he he's touching the top of the table, then he rubs his eye, he touches his face. It's the quickest way to get sick. And it, yeah. I'm not saying that everybody that touches their face or rubs their eyes is going to get COVID. Well, that's just not true. But all the viruses that are out there, that's how people get colds and, and flus and, and, you know, just, just fighting the common cold and the flu, it, it can be, it can be minimized. Right. And, and I don't know about you, but I don't like being sick. <laughs> that's just a bummer. So it's just, it's just being visual and using the right products to uh, secure your daily life. That's, that's what it's all about. So how long would it take then to sanitize a restaurant? So obviously there's restaurants of all different sizes, but typically um, if we go into like an average size McDonald's, for instance, where there's a lot of kids, there's a lot of uh, runny noses and, and kids putting stuff in their mouths that they shouldn't be putting in their mouths. Um, it would probably take about 15, 20 minutes. We do a lot of dairy queens and we're like in there for literally 10 to 15 minutes tops. Um, and that's getting everything that's coating everything, including the kitchens, the bathrooms, the tables, um, the the handles uh the trash area the um just everything everything we get under 15 minutes and i i would like to point out also that um this product doesn't have a scent at all um because the very first time that we tried to dine into a restaurant Okay, we were sitting out on the patio and I just remember walking through and even though I had my mask on walking through the restaurant, the smell of their sanitizing <laughs> products was so strong. And then we get outside to the patio and we're sitting there and they bring you the menu, which they, you know, soak. Right. <laughs> it, it seemed as if they just dunk them maybe instead of wiping the smell was so strong and it, it just it was so um i could barely eat because it it was so pungent and overwhelming and you know after that i said well if this is what my dining experience is going to be like then i'll just continue to do takeout and either eat in my car or we'll go to the park and eat or whatever because just the, the smell of of that was just overwhelming yeah i've had i've had similar cases but i get affected in a different way i get an instant headache my throat starts to swell up and i need to get out into fresh air because they're poisons they're affecting yeah. you differently it's not going to affect everybody the same way but for me i cannot handle those those smells like you know i uh, before I did any of this, uh, we used to use that lemon fresh uh, stuff in your in your homes to, to uh, disinfect your floors and all that. Yeah. Um, it smelled nice, but I'll bet you in my bottom dollar that it, you didn't clean anything because yeah. those products have to stay wet, like I told you before, for 10 to 15 minutes in order yeah. to kill. Um, but your house smells nice. Yeah. <laughs> smells yeah. pine solid fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon fresh. That's that's grandma's house. <laughs> right. But then you think, oh, you know, since my house smells like this, oh, it's disinfected and it's clean and I don't have to worry about, it. you know, so I'll just tell you, you, you want to keep your floors clean? 
leave your shoes outside. Yeah, weird. Because you bring in stuff like crazy from your shoes. You know, I live at the I live at the beach, and man, there's sand in my house all the time. Yeah. And and I don't, you know, it's like you, you got to look at the bottom of your shoes before you walk in the house. But anyway, so that that just shows what's coming in. Uh, what you step on, you know, take your shoes off. Do, so do, you like, do you like the Japanese do and leave your shoes outside? So for, you know, taking the conversation um, from restaurant to transportation. Yeah. So, um, you know, again, talking about these smaller confined spaces. So um, what would the process be for sanitizing, say, an airplane or um, and then what would be the difference between sanitizing an airplane versus sanitizing um, other means of transportation, such as taxis, buses, um, you know, whatever you, everyone calls the light rail or the metro or the train, it, it would <laughs> the be, subway, what have you. <laughs> yeah, it would be exactly the same way um, because it's all done with electrostatic. The only thing, so, so the Glen Health uh, surface product has been what they call D6. So it's a Boeing certification. Yeah. So it, if it can be on an airplane, it can be anywhere because it's a non-corrosive product. Um, so it will not hurt anything. Fine woods, carpets, um, drapes, all that stuff, it does not affect it in any way. Uh, but typically the electrostatic in a subway uh, you're talking about drying in four minutes. Um, every, maybe every shift, they go and spray the subway again because it's it's a very hands-on uh, right. approach when you're dealing with uh, riders on the train that are touching and holding, making sure they don't fall. So those areas need to be reapplied, mm -hmm. uh, but typically the walls um don't typically need to be applied the, the the windows because people aren't usually touching that that mm -hmm. part but you, we want to make this clear that the reason um we're using electrostatic and getting everywhere because the the uh viruses that are out there and the germs float on dust and those can hit the glass those can hit the wall those could hit the ceiling uh, it all depends on where the, they're being blown to. Mm -hmm. So it's important to cover everything because that one that, that hit the wall that died could have landed on you. Um, and, you know, like I told you before, nothing's 100%. Right. Uh, if you didn't use our product on your hands and you weren't, you didn't have that invisible glove and you scratched your eye, um, nine out of ten times you're going to get whatever virus that is right so what are your thoughts about restoring these industries and public trust because i mean where i live people utilize public transportation i live down the street from the light rail station there are a lot of people that take the bus um you know there i i don't feel maybe that people are are as fearful as they were before, but I feel that maybe people that utilized a way of public transportation in the past may still feel very wary of utilizing that form now. And so how do you, how, how do we, I mean, I know we're making these videos to get the word out, but right. You know, how else can we educate people that, you know, if we can use a product like this on a larger scale, then public trust can be fully restored. So this is where we have to get into the municipalities and, and the, the, the local governments to uh, be a part of this and to get on the airways and get, get to their constituents and, and let them know that, hey, um, even even when coronavirus gets tackled and it's no more, that's not 
saying that something else is right around the corner. We right. don't know. We have no idea. But um, it it's not good to put your guard down because look at what the human coronavirus did. Now, just just FYI, the human coronavirus is like at a level two. The the SARS is about around a level four. Mm-hmm virus is a level 16 so you can imagine if the coronavirus was a MERS we we'd be in trouble yeah in 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 more than we already are we were not prepared so the best way to tackle um is the defense let's let's be vigilant in how we uh clean how we operate on a daily basis and be more um, secure in our daily lives with with just a couple simple things. It's very simple. It's not expensive. It's very simple to do. And it's the best way to minimize your exposure to what's out there in the world. But it's easy to apply. It's uh, I would take the same thing as going into an airplane as going into a, uh, a rail car. The only thing I wouldn't do is spray inside the cockpit. I would use the wipes. And I think too that people are itching to get back to some degree of what they're considering to be normalcy. So let's take an industry such as real estate and um, car dealerships, okay? So those industries require people to show up um, you know, to have tours. And I know that people have kind of worked around this, um, because we're, we're managing, right. Um, but a product like this would allow, again, that full trust, that full confidence to kind of operate in the way that they were before, because I know for myself, whenever I bought my house, if I couldn't see it, I wouldn't buy it. Or if I had to do a virtual tour, um, I wouldn't, that doesn't work. Right. Um, you know, and then if I were to go out and purchase a new car, um, I want to test drive the car before I buy it. And so, you know, some of these industries that are very hard hit in this way that require their customer to physically show up and be there. Um, also the cruise industry, right. (laughs) Um, and, and we've heard lots of stories of, of cruise ships, right. And so if we can get those industries to understand that, you know, to, to give again, full confidence that not only is it safe, and we talked before about it being, you know, non-corrosive, non-abrasive, um, non-toxic, you know, mm-hmm. because, you know, I think people are becoming more health conscious now and people are waking up to the fact that you know, the way that we were living before is not exactly the most healthy and the things that we're, we're putting on our body and the things we're putting in our body. And so again, if you have a product that is non-toxic and can also eliminate viruses or at least reduce viruses a significant amount, then we can have that normalcy again. And we don't have to, it's nice to get creative, right? A lot of awesome innovation has come out of this time, but at the same time, it's just like those kinds of industries need to have, you know, that experience. You, you go to the dealership to have that experience. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) Um, So very simple. Uh, The dealership would, would purchase a gun or backpack uh, and sanitize the car before the customer went in and when he gets out. It's the, the best way to, uh, to tackle that problem. And then doing the, the showroom where people are walking around, touching the car is not going to hurt the car. It's not going to hurt anybody. And having our hand sanitizer available um, and not the alcohol um, is a, also a big plus. So it's kind of a multitude of different levels um, that the, the car dealership would do. Same thing with um real estate people uh the real estate agent would we we actually do this now uh with a uh, real estate firm uh where they call us up and we'll go and spray their open house Mm -hmm. um 
and um, we're good. They're good. They're comfortable. They they got a nice little plaque that says this house has been sanitized and um, by the Glen Health products. And uh, I think that gives people a warm tummy feeling, especially uh, if they they actual uh, promote it on their advertising where they say, you know, we take pride and we with your safety. We you know that's our number one um, goal is is your safety and our our, our clients' safety and and our employee safety, same thing with the restaurants uh, that we go into. Um, it, it's all about doing the most you can do to minimize the exposure for, for, for what's going out, you know, what, what, what's affecting us now and, and in the future. And so just in the last few minutes that we have left, I kind of want to switch gears over to public safety. Okay. Um, so, there's a there's a wall dispenser just about everywhere you go. There has been, but of course now people are using those wall dispensers with increased frequency. And we're not necessarily conscious about how much, how often we're using everywhere we go. You know, it's now it's almost automatic. You walk into a place, let me, <laughs> you know, do some squirts or sometimes they might have the wipes, right? Um, but there, there's grave implications for those kinds of things. And so there was an article that came out about a woman in the UK that was in a um, um, substance abuse program. So she was in a hospital for substance abuse mm -hmm. and um, she ended up ingesting hand sanitizer from the wall dispenser and she died. Um, and so there, there are, again, on sanitizingsafety.com, all of these articles are there, are readily available for everyone. And you can go and you can read instance after instance after instance, again, where people are either intentionally or unintentionally ingesting because of the alcohol content. And, and I think people, again, you know, we've been reporting how much alcohol is inside of just one ounce. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> just Scary. one ounce. And so people might say, oh, well, I'm not using the whole entire one ounce at once. Well, maybe you're using half an ounce a day or a quarter of an ounce a day, depending on how often you're outside. And so um, again, being mindful about how freely available um, alcohol-based sanitizers are currently in our society. And so it's terrible. You know, yes. And <laughs> so what, what is Glam's health immediate solution for this growing problem in society? It, it's all about educating people. Um, that's about the best, you know, other than, than, um, plastering Glam health on every TV station in the world, uh, which, uh, be kind of hard to do, but it, it's basically doing what you're doing now. It's, it's, it's educating people on, on why they shouldn't use it, why, why um, every time they touch that thing. So this is a really cool thing that you've got to um, get to your, your, your audience. Alcohol is the same thing as when you're disinfecting your floors. Remember I said, it's got to stay wet. Mm -hmm. So alcohol has to stay wet for 15 seconds. And I told you this the last time, if you don't pump that thing more than three or four times, it's not staying wet. And the, the issue is now you've just pumped in uh, like five shots of like a, uh, 160 proof alcohol yeah. in your bloodstream. Now there's people say, well, I don't get drunk. Well, it's in your bloodstream. It's not going to get you drunk, but if you had a blood test, you would show alcohol in your bloodstream. The difference is that you ingest alcohol through your, your mouth. That's where it gets you, uh, your, your, um, your buzz or your drunk or whatever you call it. Um, it's not when it goes into the bloodstream because it doesn't affect you that way. 
Um, so that's, I, I get that a lot. Well, I don't ever feel drunk. And I hit that thing a hundred times a day. And I said, you know, you, you don't. And I explain why, but I can, I can guarantee something. If you're hitting that thing 50 to hundred times a day, you're addicted to it. And you don't mm -hmm. even, you don't even know it. And that's sad. And the, the fact of the matter is it's not helping your health. And especially if you have some sort of compromised health issue, no, no, you're just making yourself worse. Um, so I can go on and on. I've got so many, you know, uh, the other thing is, especially if you're just determined on using an alcohol-based product, don't keep it in your car because alcohol vapors, even the, even the, 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 uh, the uh, what is it called the the gel it vapors your your car can get up to 120 degrees inside it vapors it could be a bomb and i've seen it happen there's articles all the time about how people had hand sanitizer in their car caught on fire because it got so hot and that vapor ignited and it's a clear it's a very clean um fire so if it got on your hands you wouldn't even know about it until it cause the damage because it burns so clear um you, you don't know what what you, you know what you're touching after you've got 180 proof alcohol in your hands you could be a a, a, a factory worker and you just washed your hands with 160 180 proof alcohol and you went and touched something that gave you a, a static electrical shock and you just became on fire yeah so it's very dangerous in so many ways. For all of my people that are living in Arizona with me, you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, that that's that can get hot. <laughs> yes. Arizona is Whenever you said that, I was hot. like, hotter, hotter. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> park the car. You can bake cookies on the dashboard. It gets so hot here. <laughs> can you imagine what you can do on a sidewalk? <laughs> right. <laughs> Fry, fry up some eggs. Yes. Yes. And people have. Oh, no, I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> All right. So um, just in the very last minute that we have left. Um, yep. So let's talk again. Let's review this juicy news um, for what's new for Glenn Health in 2021. So let's let's hear it one last time, because I'm very excited. I'm very <laughs> excited of what is new and coming. So we have an amazing um, hand sanitizer for kids that's coming out. We've got a new wound care for kids that's coming out. Uh, we've got a new wound care for adults uh, that's actually going to have hyaluronic acid in it uh, that's going to be very nourishing to the skin as well. Um, and um, a few other uh, different applications or applicators uh, that are going to be real fun and and classy and and all sorts of good stuff. We're we're not stopping. Um, we're we're just going to do whatever we can to make it more comfortable for people to use our products uh, to where you don't have to take out a big old bottle of hand sanitizer out of your purse. We're going to have something very dainty that you don't even know it's hand sanitizer. It's going to look like a lipstick. And, and it's gonna be beautiful. So we're excited. We're excited for the future. And, and these products um, just keep coming to, back to the website, which is glandhealth.com and see all our new products. We've got a body spray that's unbelievable. So I use it when I fly, cause I fly to San Diego from Texas all the time. Mm -hmm. Boy, I just lay it on my clothes, my, you know, and I wash my clothes in, in our laundry product. Uh, which also fights against everything that's out there. Uh, great for kids. Um, so works. Oh, forgot. We've got a, a line of products for animals coming out. Oh, so this is exciting. And these are all FDA products. So we've got a medicated shampoo and we've got a wound care for just about every animal you can think of. Nice. Yeah, that. That's really exciting. I'm excited for the kids' products because, as you know, my kids love just the regular product. Just imagine if it was for kids. 
um, and they get cuts on their hands all the time. So, um, so we reach you through glanhealth.com. Yep. And they is that can, how we reach you? Yep. They can, uh, they can call the 800 number, which is 858-283-1135. I can't remember all these numbers. Sorry. It's okay. um, or they can, uh, they can call me personally if they want. Um, I'm, I, I listen to everybody. I talk to everybody. And uh, my number is 214-250-0102. Call me up. I can answer your questions. Uh, I can steer you in the right directions of what products uh, would be best for you and, and your family. And you do have product education as well. So you can even send product education if yes. people are interested. So we've got, we've got different, different stuff. The, the website is a wealth of information. Yes. Yes. Um, and if you can't find it there, um, it probably doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, the website is a fantastic resource. Um, I really urge people to, um, to, to visit the website, understand how this product works, especially if you're skeptical. Um, so if you're skeptical, do, do your homework, do your research. You know, we're not, there's nothing secretive here, not hiding anything. You know, my friends and family know that I'm always on a crusade for um, health and wellness and community and what's best for everyone. So, um, you know, they, they trust me that I'm, you know, doing what is right and what's best for the community based on the research that I have already done because I, I'm a skeptical person myself and I won't do anything until I do the research first, right? I need to see for myself, right? I'm from the show me state. So that's well, probably and you know why. What? And God bless you for what you do because um, we need more people like you to spread the word and to let everybody know, um, first of all, of what not to do and what these products can do to you uh, mm -hmm. and what else is available for people to, uh, to kind of transition to. Right, uh, we, need, this, we need the this, alternative. This is, this is the future. Yes. This is the future. So thank you so much, Greg, for joining us again. This has been the Science of Eco-Friendly Sanitizing for Public Safety. I am your host, Tasha Jackson with Naturally Inspired. Thank you again, Greg, for joining Thanks us. For I appreciate me. your time Thanks with for having us. us today. Have a great day. <laughs> you too, thanks.